we gather here to commend our brother Archbishop Raphael Dingi to God our Father and to commit his body to the earth elements in the spirit of faith in the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead let us raise our voices in offer of our prayer for Archbishop Dingi. Before we go, before we go, before we go our separate ways, let us now take leave of our brother, Archbishop Lafayette Dingi. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when, um, when the love of Christ which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Archbishop Raphael Dingi, and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Archbishop Raphael Dingi again and enjoy his friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother, Archbishop Raphael Dingi, in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him in the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Archbishop Raphael in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn to us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurance of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with, with our brother, with our brother Archbishop Raphael. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Let us know all this in the kindly. At this point, we shall have the eulogy of Archbishop Raphael Dingi Mwananzeki, and I welcome Father Lawrence Njoroge to read the eulogy 
of His Grace Archbishop Rafael Dingi Mwananzeki. Father Lawrence Njoroge, welcome. The departed Emeritus Archbishop Raphael Simon Dingi Mwananzeki touched and changed the lives of many people in the church, this country and beyond. The last of five children of Mze Joseph Nzekingila and Mama Maria Muthoki, the late prelate was generous with his many gifts. Among his attributes, he was kind, sometimes stubborn, a firebrand who was deeply spiritual. Here lies a patriot who loved God, church, and country. In the early 1960s, Father Dingi and Monsignor John Jenga, supported by Sister Idel Bahati and Sister Martin Wanjiro, established a hostel at Our Lady of the Visitation Church, Makadara, to host homeless youth in the city. Witnesses to this effort include Father George Gadongo, Dr. George Kamau Muhohu, and Dr. Peter Carey in Jeroge, colleagues of the late prelate at the parish. Dr. Peter Carey in Jeroge is here with us in this basilica. Appointed Education Secretary by Archbishop McCarthy, Monsignor Dingi applied for from five and six classes for Mango High School and Loreto Convent Limuru. Sister Columbia Kelly, then principal at Loreto, recalls that the cleric one day stubbornly refused to leave the Ministry of Education headquarters until they were guaranteed the A-level stream. At the end of the day, Monsignor Dingi and Sister Columbia left the building with a letter granting the higher school certificate classes. As Bishop of Machakos, Nakuru, and finally the Archbishop of Nairobi, he ordained many priests and also took the vows of many religious sisters. And among the priests, the Reverend Peter Cairo reached the rank of Archbishop. During his 10-year tenure at Nairobi, Archbishop Mwana Anzaki opened 15 new parishes, and this translates into three parishes every two years, which is a remarkable achievement. We remember Bishop Dingi as a firebrand prophet who confronted state agents in the Rift Valley during the ethnic clashes and defended the oppressed. He was supported by many people in this fight, including Mr. Samson Wangi, his driver, Sister Angeline Mombi, his secretary, Father Francis Mirango, the Reverend Dr. Timothy Njoya, Father Dikaru Wateresia, and Professor Wangari Mathai. When brought struck parts of this country, and famine began to bite, 
1999, Archbishop Dingi partnered with Dr. Wilfred D. Kiboro of Nation Media Group in championing a massive effort to alleviate hunger and find a permanent solution to this challenge. The departed Emeritus Archbishop was and is a man who thirsted and fought for truth and justice. And it is for this reason that in 1996, St. John Fisher College, New York, his alma mater, awarded him a doctorate of law honoris causa. And in 2019, the government of Kenya awarded him the elder of the Order of the Burning Spear, EBS, for his distinguished service to this nation. And the Holy Father, Pope John Paul II, now a saint, appointed Archbishop Dingi Mwana Anzeki, a member of the Pontifical Council for Culture, a task he carried out with competence, vigor, and joy. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetuate shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. Thank you very much, Father Roland Sinjaroge, for that eulogy. Allow me now to acknowledge some messages of condolences sent to His Eminence and to the Archdiocese of Nairobi following the passing on of Archbishop Raphael Dingi from various persons and institutions. We have from Reverend, Right Reverend Anthony Mokofo, Bishop of Vicariate of Isiolo, Foment staff from Catholic Diocese of Nakuru, the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, Kuea, for Colare Movement, the Franciscan Missionaries of St. Joseph, Africa Region, the Kenya National Union of Teachers, NAT, Nyeri Ecumenical Bishops Council, Religious Superiors Conference of Kenya, RSCK, Democratic Party of Kenya, DP, Association of Members, Peace Poco, Conference in Eastern Africa, AMESEA, Mission for Essential Drugs and Supplies, MEDS, Symposium of Episcopal Conferences of Africa and Madagascar, SECAM, Reverend Father Herman Gassa, Felician Sisters, Apostles of Jesus and Carmelite Nuns, among others. Your messages are so much appreciated by the Archdiocese. At this point, I invite His Lordship, Bishop David Kamau, Auxiliary Bishop in the Archdiocese of Nairobi, to pass the vote of thanks. Bishop Rokan. As we thank God for the gift of the late Archbishop Dingi, I am now to, on behalf of His Eminence, to pass a vote of thanks to you all. Allow me just to mention a few. To His Excellency Uhuru Moigai Kenyatta for his condolences and general support in preparation for the last rite of our beloved Archbishop. To the Apostolic Nuncio, His Excellency Van Magan for his condolences and support. To Sekam Amasea, and the Kenya Conference Catholic Bishops for their prayer and support. To the family of the late Archbishop, thank you for the support and especially for your cooperation. Special thanks to doctors and nurses 
who took care of the Archbishop in the Mata Hospital, and especially thanks to Father Dr. Mausi and his team at Kraj Home, to other church denominations who are present today, and the clergy from other churches who have worked with the Archbishop in promoting the communal spirit and inter-religious dialogue. Again to all, I say um, thank you. Now, may I take the opportunity to invite His Excellency the President from State House to greet the congregation. I understand he has sent an apology, and therefore I ask the representative, Mr. Kehala, to read the congregation on his behalf. Your Eminence, <clears throat> John Cardinal Njue, the Bishops present and all the clergy, good morning. My name is Kennedy Kehara. I work in the executive office of the president. And this morning I've been asked by His Excellency the President to pass his message of condolence following the loss of His Grace Archbishop Emeritus Dingi Mwana Nzeki. His Excellency the President wanted so much to be here with us this morning. However, we all appreciate the difficult circumstances we are in and therefore His Excellency was not able to make it here. Again, we had made arrangements for His Excellency the President to speak to us through video link. And at the last minute, technology failed us. And, and, and that, that is when, when he asked, he asked me to convey, convey his, his condolences, condolences and goodwill, and goodwill messages. His Excellency has asked me to reiterate that this country and the world has lost a great leader whose loss is not only to this country, to the Catholic Church and the entire Church of Christ and all people of goodwill, and that this loss will be felt in the entire world. His Excellency asked us all to emulate the very, very, very good character of the late Archbishop Emeritus and to practice what he told us. Indeed, the life of the late Archbishop is a demonstration that even in the world of difficulties and challenges, there are people who are good and who rise to serve God and his creation. His Excellency wants to inform the church and the country that when we are through with these difficulties, he will lead the nation to set aside a day when the life of the late Archbishop will be celebrated. May God Almighty rest Archbishop Emeritus Raphael Dingi Mwana Nzeki 
in everlasting peace. Thank you and may God bless you. Thank you very much, Mr. Kihara, for that address. At this point, we shall stand and receive the blessings to end Mass, after which we shall proceed to the crypt where the Archbishop will be laid to rest. Only the bishops will go there. The rest of the people is after the bishops are through. Not a big space, so still maintaining social distance. We are requesting just in bits. We shall be getting there after. But to go with the poor bearers, they shall lead us, and then they shall enter in the crypt. Bishops then will enter as we continue the second part to lay the Archbishop to rest. So as of now, let us all arise for the blessing to end Mass. Before I say this uh, last prayer then, since I'm not going to talk again, and you know that normally I don't talk much, I am a man of few words, I would like also to say really I feel so, so, so much touched by our presence, all of us here. We would have been even more, but we know with the regard of the year, regulations that came for the because of the situation in our country and of the uh, disease and so on we nevertheless have come be able to come the way we have come and I mean an occasion like this I really feel to say very sincere thanks as you can see even our bishops are here um, uh, we are expecting even more, but then as a result of the regulation, then some could not be able to come this morning. And so, me is to say thank you very much. And we have come in order really to accompany this brother of ours. Always something that is reminding us there is time to come and there is time to go. In occasion like this is the moment of renewal and indeed of examination of conscience. Reminding us once again, we have all come and we are all of us on the way. And what is important is we move and preparing ourselves so that when our time comes, we can be able to uh, go back and uh, be able to uh, remain in communion with God. This is in line with those words that were being told to us during the Catechism. When we were being asked a question, why did God create man? And we used to answer, God created man to know him, to love him, and to serve him while in this world and in the end, to be happy with him in eternity. Our dear bishops, our dear priests, our dear men and women religious, and our dear colleagues from uh, other um, uh, denominations and uh, uh, churches, let us take this opportunity. It's a sad moment because we have lost our brother. But let us remember that we are all on the way. But the most important thing, let us uphold that identity that God has given to us and let us live it in communion with him in times of joy and in times of sorrow. So mine is to say dearly, very sincerely, as the shepherd in this archdiocese and also success of our friend whom we are accompanying, just to say thank you really for saving time and to come 
and uh, to be instrumental in accompanying him for the uh, to rest for the arresting place. Blessing. A blessing. May the God of all consolation bless you. For in his unfathomable goodness, he created the human race. And in the resurrection of his only begotten Son, he has given believers the hope of rising again. All of us say Amen. amen. To us who are alive, May God grant pardon for our sins and to all the dead a place of life and peace. So may we all live happily forever with Christ, whom we believe truly rose from the dead. All of you say Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you always. Thanks be to God. For now we shall first of all have the Salve Regina. For best position yourselves. Before we start off, Salve Regina, led by Father Simon Peter Kamamoe. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Nita Ducerna, Es Dulce Ante clamamos, et ora spirieve, ante suspiramos, gementes e frentes, in ag lacrimarum vale. Si on 
mimi peke yangu mimi pamoja na wate ule waloshinda vita Kizambele za Mungu na mbele za Kristu Ukali ubiri neno uwe tayari siku zote Ukaribie unene kwa uvumilivu Nimepiga vita vilivyo vyema vita vya roho na mwendo nimeumaliza Nimepiga vita vilivyo vyema vita vya roho na mwendo nimeumaliza Sasa nangotea kupewa taji ya washindi Sio mimi peke yangu Hadi bishop Na file ndingi has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven with the faith and the hope in eternal life. Let us assist him with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with our brother. Together may we meet Christ Jesus when he who is our life, he who is our life appears in glory. Lord Jesus Christ, by your own three days in the tomb, you hallowed the graves of all who believe in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our brother may sleep here in peace until you awaken him to glory. For you are the resurrection and the life. Then he will see you face to face and in your light will see light and know the splendor of God, for you live and reign forever and ever.
God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on behalf of your servant, Archbishop Raphael Dingi. Do not count his uh, deeds against him, for in his uh, In his heart, he desired to do your will. At his faith united he, as his faith united him to your people on earth, so may your mercy join him to the angels in heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty God then now bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, Bishop, you shall exit through. Today at the right side, we are not going back to the basilica. There is a path where you shall be led kindly. So we are requesting the priests kindly to come now. The priests kindly now come. Priests kindly come now. After which we shall have the family kindly. Mapadre wote tuawaomba wale ambao karibu waweze kuja baada ya mapadre nao familia tupangwe watu tu kumi hivi maintain social distance tafadhali mapadre tafadhali twali kwa sasa of the family now are coming kindly and we thank you so much.
ิกากามวยสิจานุมนิกาอาจะกโจนิเลเตอามิจายาริกุปเกว่าปุ่มสี